okay folks we're back with the GSM 500 and what is happening here is that we're taking some measurements of the quantum pendant and we have two quantum pendants this is the first one I bought and then this is the second one I got and what we're doing right now is we're looking at the card and trying to figure out what is making this card so active this is the quantum card that came with the quantum pendant authenticity card the number and then on the back it says quantum pendant so let's see why this is so active on the Geiger counter we have a uh, background, GSM 500. And let's see what's happening here. I'm going to put the uh, pancake probe, I'm going to put this over here. And let's put the card right here. All right. Let's play it and see what's going on. Okay, so it's on the back part of the card. And as you can see, we're getting about a thousand counts per minute. One thousand counts per minute on the back of the quantum card. Okay, one more time. Okay. Oh. 11, almost 1100 almost so we'll do a reset okay let's do a reset put it closer so you can see let's put it closer so we can see closer to the Geiger counter all right there it is One thousand counts per minute on the card, on the back part. We flip it over, or turn it around. Put on the pancake probe, and there it goes. That's about uh, six hundred counts. About six hundred to the front of the uh, quantum card. So the back seems to be more active than the front. Way more active. So if anybody can help me out figure out what's going on here, why is the card so active? Hmm. Quantum pendant. Hmm. We hope you have enjoyed this video of the quantum pendant card. Alright.